Today I've just learnt that ZWO have announced a new smart telescope. It's going to be an upgrade to the S30 which I'm currently enjoying at the moment. It's going to be called the S30 Pro. It's a bit of a curveball for me because I thought they were going to do an S50 Pro next in all honesty. But the S30 is extremely good. I've been very impressed with it. So any upgrade to that could be amazing for, for like wide field shots of nebulae in particular I think its stronger suit is personally and uh, the new specs do kind of lend themselves to that and sort of wider fields of views because they're they're upgrading from the Sony IMX662 Starvis 2 chip to the Sony IMX585 chip which is considerably bigger we're going from a, a a 2k sensor to a 4k sensor with a much larger sort of four times the area but at the same 2.9 micron pixel pitch so the resolution is going to remain the same for the s30 pro as it does the s30 which is around four arc seconds now that's not particularly fine resolution but when you're zoomed out effectively looking at a wider field of view then it's a lot less noticeable and so far i've had no complaints with the detail i've been getting from the s30 now the upgraded larger area that this 585 sensor is going to give is going to zoom right even further so making that resolution deficit even less noticeable so I think it's a, a real win for them to put that sensor in there and a good move. So on the existing S30 we've got a 2.13 times 1.2 degree field of view and introducing the IMX 58 five sensors going to boost that to 4.3 by 2.4 degrees which is a significant difference as you can see here how it's framing andromeda it's quite tight in the existing s30 unless you move to mosaic mode which would allow you to get it all in quite comfortably and i've done so myself uh, but you wouldn't need to do the mosaic mode in the new s30 pro just off the bat it will give you a wider field of view but I'm sure you'd be able to do a mosaic for an even wider field of view. Also to add they're improving the optics slightly they're going from a three element apo to a four element quad to improve colour correction and sharpness etc but as well as the sensor boost and the extra element in there um, it, they're also going to they've also listened to feedback and they're, they're, they're going to improve the wide angle lens because at the moment it doesn't match the capability of the Dwarf 3 for example been able to do Milky Way shots so they're going to put a, a popular sensor that you find in your, your smartphone which is the IMX586 sensor which is a lot more sensitive it's going to give with the optics it's now going to give 84 degree field of view so much wider and much more sensitive and they're going to have modes such as Milky Way and Star Trail modes that kind of thing to cope with all these extra file sizes created by the wider field of views from these from the main and the wide field lens they're, they're also boosting the the memory from 64 gigabytes and that's going to go up to 256 so it's going to the memory is going to match quite well four times the sensor area four times the memory so it's quite a big upgrade and pre they, they announced that the pre-orders would be available from june and um if uh, if they don't feel gen if ZWO don't feel generous enough to send me one out to review, I will be pre-ordering one because I've been so impressed with the S30 so far. I just also want to show you, if I can, the difference in actual because these are just me throwing words at you. But I happen to have the ISA 462, which is a predecessor to the 662 in the S30 currently, the same sensor size, and I also, I've also got the 585 which is the, uh, the proposed, the new sensor that's going in the S30 Pro. So I just want to, if I can capture it on camera, I want to show you the, the actual physical sensor size difference. I'll try and crop in, maybe you can see it there in the light and get a sense of how different the sensor size is for both of those. Anyway, I just want to thank my channel members and my patrons for all the support you give. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, but consider subscribing. Or my patron would be even better if you want to consider that. That'd be fabulous. Otherwise, I'll hope to see some of you on the next video. Bye for now.